I don't even feel like doing these supports right now. I just want to know if this nigga's alive or not, you know? I really just want to know if he's alive or not. I don't even... I can't even get in the mood to do these support conversations right now. Let's just save the game. This story is going straight to fucking hell, man. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? This story! Nothing fucking... It's like... It's like the high point was when they beat... The... The, the high point is when they beat, like... Like, I'm, I'm what I'm trying to what I'm trying to portray is that like the story ever since like uh, they beat what the fuck was this nigga's name um Gangrel they defeated Gangrel and the story went to a really high point where everyone was happy you know a couple years passed you know people were married people got knocked up T Boner's here not gonna be able to take the top spot but try not to kill Crom or Robin good luck T Boner yo thank you so much man I really appreciate your presence here I need it for the support because I don't know what the fuck's going on. But everything seemed like it was all happy and sunshine and roses. And then, once the Valmis are introduced into stuff, and Walhart and all this shit, next thing you know, the story goes straight to the depths of hell. And now, it's like niggas are getting knocked off. Niggas are about to die. But okay, we're going to save the game one more time. We're going to rush straight in. Should we, should we, should, in fact, should we do a paralogue first? Should we do a paralogue first? I do want to get some more characters. Maybe we can do, maybe we can do that paralogue for um, Long Ku's son. Now I would love, I would love to see what his son is like, yo. Oh man, I would love to. Let's save the game again. Uh, I know I'm, I get kind of paranoid when shit like this happens. I need to constantly save the game, but um, we're going to save it and we're going to begin the chapter. We already saw this beforehand, so, um, Godzilla1 donated saying, Yo, Etika, you inspired me to pick up this game, and I just married Naoi and Stahl. A little yeah. bitch says she wants to have a dozen children, aka, Stahl just landed in cream pie heaven with that tight little dragon body all to himself. Yo, man, I wish I knew what that man Stahl was like, but, um, he seemed like he was real chill, like, <laughs> apparently Gaius has really funny conversations with her, too. Undertaker saying, Basilio, rest in peace. God damn, man. We already saw this, so we're gonna skip this for now. I really hope that's not the case, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what the fate of Basilio is. Like that is one thing I didn't get spoiled about. So surprisingly, I guess. Um, let's view the map. Could we do this now? Hostile donated saying, "Let me self-promote. Follow me on Twitch." <laughs> what the hell? Can we handle this? One twelve. I'm looking at their ratings in comparison to my ratings, and um. These niggas, they, they got no- DAMN, NIGGA! 1, 2, 3, for your rating. 102. The word is saying, please view the supports before you do the mission. Robin won't get more supports with them until you view the conversation. Oh, okay, so I guess I really do have to view it. Alright, I definitely will. So only the boss has, like, max, but, um... Do it, don't do it. Really, just do it. I don't know if I'm ready for it now, though. Like, I'm... 142, 138, 154, 195. We could do it, potentially, I think. I feel like we could do it. I just don't know how the fuck we're supposed to... Damn, man. So what so what kind of units are we looking at now? The red team seems to have a lot of these mages. And um, they have mages, mostly, and um, defensive generals. This, These guys, they got uh, paladins. What the fuck do these niggas do? Just leave, nigga. Don't... Just do it. It's not that easy. I don't know what the fuck the... What, how do you win? What's the point of this? How do you win it? Uh, guide? No. Options? I really want to get that kid. So how do you do this? Um, do it. <laughs> if you don't pick the red team, you would never... What? This mission, it starts out... This mission starts out asking which team you want to join. Join the red team first. Okay. Michigo's Cleveland saying, have trust in Basilio. He's a strong man. A strong man, I tell you. Yo, I know that for a fact. I know. But 
That nigga Walmart hit him with a fucking WWE finisher, yo. I, I just don't know if he came out of that one alive. I don't think he did, but um, we'll see. Everyone's gonna die. Reinforcements up the fucking ass, really? Reinforcements? I'll take the top spot, thank you, from Crosswinds. Holy shit, with a $10 donation. By the way, Etika, when you get a chance, can you follow my man, um, CTRL Clover on Twitter? Um, I, I'll definitely get around to it. I'll remember to do so after the stream is over. But right now, I'm not sure if... Really don't know. The red team. Stuff is just gonna get more real from here. And if for your wife who you follow your heart, not the chat. I, 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 I agree with you, big time there. Brasilio got RKO'd. This isn't even half the army. Is this really... Am I really gonna get fucked up the ass here? They said reinforcements, man. How many reinforcements are we talking? Pick the knights. Way easier to recruit yarn. You pick a side after the battle starts. Okay. But if we lose some of these knights, we don't care if we're on their side. Reinforcements will come. Do the next chapter, then do this one after. Okay. Not sure if you... Uh, let me see what? Not sure if you already know, but on the map screen under spot pass, you can get really OP weapons. I, I wasn't aware of that. Let me go. Sister Red Army. Look for a man named Yarn. Tell Pan to talk to him. Don't let me down. Yo, I'm not going... I already know what the deal is, man. That's one third of the enemies. That's one third of the enemies. Oh shit. There's 50 total enemies. How do we win this? So what's the point? What's the why are you always stream fire on them while I'm studying? I have my ass off. Also, oh Deoxys, what's going on, dude? Also, my second playthrough of Awakening recently. It's power leveling guys now. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just uh, a little confused here. Apparently there's way more opponents than this seems. Suicide just saying, if you feel real balls, you choose to fight both armies. If not, just join the Reds. Hell no, I'm not going to fight them both. Maybe it's time to run. Yeah, I don't know. I really want to get their son, but I'm not. Run away. Wait, wait. How do you look at the winning conditions? How do you win this shit? Press the map button on the bottom screen to see winning conditions. Oh, giant fire ring. Oh, wow. He... Cross, sorry man, I hope you enjoyed it for the little time it lasted, bro. <laughs> Niggas are fucking fighting for the toss about now. But okay. Route the enemy is how we win this, which means we have to kill all the niggas, right? We can't win this then. Look at how many of them there are. The word is saying, I would recommend grinding Muriel's supports to get her son, as this paralogue is easier. Until then, grind up some characters before this mission. Yep, I'll do that. We're out. We 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 are out. I thought we'd be ready now. No, no fucking way. We are out of this bitch. No fucking way. Everyone's saying that when I join the team, there's going to be reinforcements out the dick. That does not sound fun to me. So we are going to avoid that completely for now. And um, we're going to do some support. I'm in a little bit of a better mood now. So, hey, let's do this. So we have a support with Robin and Anna. A pair that I've been really curious to see. So let's observe. <coughs> hey. Well, someone's cheerful today. Mm -hmm. Eek. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you there, Robin. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. I was just wondering what you were laughing about. Yes. Well, I just sold some inventory at three times the price I paid for it. Like oh. She made a hustle. That's great. So long as I wasn't one of the suckers that fell for it. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you don't know the game, you shouldn't make the deal. But don't worry, it wasn't you. Uh, there's nothing like that feeling of when coins hit your hand. Um. If you say so. <laughs> oh, she has a little teddy bear on her sword. Oh, I do. I tell you. The path to happiness is paved oh. with gold. There are some things money can't buy. Important things. Well, that's a load of bull plop. Yo, Anna, man, she, this, this chick is real, yo. And even if it was true, <coughs> money makes you care less about not having those things. Yo, she's such a fucking, she's a money fucking, yo. I don't know. Yes. I love money. Money, 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 money. Hey, clink, 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 go the coins. God damn. She's on her Mr. Crab shit right now, yo. That wasn't very hot, but, um, okay. Anna is Mr. Krabs. That's established now. Like, I I, I, I totally got that feeling from her. She's red, too. Oh, God, she's red. And she has the... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. We have Kajel and Lukina now. So let's see how these sisters interact. Um, Kajel. Yes. You know what I'm about to say, don't um, you? Be sure to wash Falcon after I'm finished cutting this apple. Don't use Falcon to cut apples in the first place, you don't. Yo, word. How the fuck are you using a legendary sword to cut a fucking apple, dog? You have a spear, don't you? Sorry. 
You had best be more than just sorry. That sword is a national treasure of Ulysses and a final memento of my father. Kirchu23 saying, Etika, I gotta go. Oh, that's too bad. But if you marry the best redhead, Anna, I will forever have respect for you. Oh, and you will get a clean $50, but don't let a guy with a redhead fetish bribe you. What the hell? Don't worry, man. I hear what you're saying with that redhead stuff, man. You Smash Brothers, Robin, Red, you know? I'm all about that. But uh, I do appreciate the support anyways, and the opinion means a lot. Back, did anyone get wrecked? No, we almost did. But we pulled out of that bitch faster than... Faster than a nigga pulling out of a thigh. Like, that's, that's how fast we pulled out of that fucking yarn mission. It just seemed like we were going to get fucked up. That sword is a... Oh, yeah. I said this. Would you use the last earthly remembrance of your dead father to cut fruit? You shame the weapon that built your very homeland. Jesus. Lucina. Lucina, it's not that no. serious, girl. I mean, God, I mean, I know it is that serious, but what the fuck? Well, you've seen for yourself how big the apple is with no other knives around. Besides, I never really touched the sword before. I suppose I got curious. So, are you... Yeah, you're you're angry. You've never held Falcon before? No, not really, no. But in the future, you always kept it by your side. And since we've been back here, I maybe moved it from tent to tent once what? or twice. Then we don't know if you have the potential to wield it. Wait, it takes a special person to use yes. it? I didn't know this. I see there's much you don't know. The blade was forged with Naga's power and steeped in the Exalt's bloodline. Only a select few are able to wield it, even among the Elysian royal house. Yo, she's on her fucking Monado shit right now. That bitch don't listen to nobody but one right there. Um, And it's kind of interesting because Shulk isn't the only person able to wield the Monado effectively. There's some dude with silver hair that's able to as well. And I read the Anna conversations and they get so dope, I fucking love it. Really? Well, if you're sure of that, then I'll continue with it. Um, quite particular, I see. Though I'm not surprised you're one of them, Lucina. No. You may be another, Kajal. I'm mortified we come this far without even putting it to the test. Yeah. What? Sisters, exalted bloodline, legendary sword, and only one of them tries it out. The other one doesn't even have any concern to do so until now. What the fuck? I need me some water. The Monado's power? A powerful warrior with a mystic sword. It's the stuff dreams are made of. KYH9 saying, my, Mr. Krabs, can't be this cute. Anna and Robin's path really hits with me because she's all about money. But that means when she shows any kindness, it's really extra meaningful. She also takes you in to in the back to count money. Oh, really now? But I hear what you're saying. Anna, that girl is one-track-minded, straight-up tunnel vision on the dollar bill. But if she manages to somehow show some emotion, some warmth to someone, that means she must, uh, she must really like you. Hustle saying, why hasn't anyone followed my Twitch yet? Does this not work? Also, it's Hustle Attica. Oh, whoops. My bad. But yeah, it doesn't work like that, man. I mean, a lesson that I learned from them way back in the beginning when I started YouTube, shout outs don't do shit unless the person that is being shouted out has good content. And um, that's just the way it is. I prefer our naughty damsel Alyssa. I think Kajel should catch the cream pie. Interesting choice right there, Silver. Holy fuck, this game is making her into a perpetual player too to Lucina. Give her the cream pie, but at least give her some spotlight. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Like, how the hell is it that Lucina gets all the fucking attention, but cute little Kajel here is like pretty much left observing everything, you know? And she's got such a personality, such a robust character in herself. She needs more, she needs more attention, I feel. The warden is saying, I must ask, please before the next stream, get Robin to be support with Lucina, Kajel, Seiri, and Anna. And before the stream, after, get him to do A support with them. That way you can have five A supports. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do so as well. I want to see what is up with all these girls and potentially cream pie one of them before too long. It has to happen. It has to. Well. Mostly I'm ashamed I never stopped to consider it. If you are in fact among Falcons chosen, then this is knowledge we need. There may come a time where it proves necessary for you to take it up. Like if you're too busy? Yes. Like if I'm dead- Oh, oh! It got serious. It got serious. I gotta, I gotta piss now. Give me, give me a second. I'll be right back. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let one loose after that. Okay, we back. I got me some nuts. What's going on with the chat? What's going on with the chat? Oh, it was in slow mode. What the fuck? What's going on with the chat? I got me some nuts here. 
More like the field. <laughs> word. That's a good one. Nacho, you get props, my boy. That was a good one. Can somebody make the chat? Thank you. Thank you. I need to see my chat go crazy. Oh, is this all? Let me reload. Maybe I'm not seeing it right. Lucina fucking dropped a really serious bomb there. <laughs> Having someone able to wield it, even after I'm gone, will be a considerable asset. We must use any means at our disposal to ensure the future is saved. Let's go put it to the test. Huh? <sighs> Forget it. There's no way the sword would choose someone like what? me. You don't know that until you try. You, you yourself said you wished that you were able to wield it, so let's... <sighs> I said, no, I'm not doing it, don't make- Oh, damn. You can tell, like, when Kajel realized that Lucina's purpose to have her try it out was in case Lucina ever did die. Yeah, that- I, I hear you. That would traumatize me too, man. Like, she doesn't- she doesn't want to try the Falcon out at all. Because she knows that if it does work for her, then one day that possibility of Lucina dying and her having to wield it, Kajel, would- would be there. And she doesn't- she doesn't, she doesn't want to face that, man. I understand totally. My boy, I know bombs, and Lucina just dropped a fields bomb. Kajel wouldn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Um, was that KYH, man? Oh, that was Silver. Shit got so serious, man. Damn. Don't you see? You cannot afford to lose this war, no matter what happens or who dies. But Damn, yo. Damn! This is all coming from the heart. Like, Kajel usually isn't this open with the way she feels about certain things, but that shit cut deep for her, yo. No, wait. Never by choice. That quote right there. That quote right there defines my entire fucking playthrough. There are no guarantees in war. You're goddamn right. Well, you know, now that I think about it, all these characters that I grew an attachment to, I've lost a lot in the past, and the ones that I have now, what's to say I won't lose fucking... What's to say I won't lose Lucina in the next game, or I won't lose Lissa in the next game? There are no guarantees, man. Crosswind saying, where's that Yandere simulator playthrough at, though? Yo, man, I'll do that shit eventually. Um, it was hot before. Is the game still in beta? It's probably going to be in beta for a while, but I'm... hopefully it has some nice updates to it now. No guarantees, man. King Tim a B with a fifteen dollar donation. All right, man. I gotta bounce. Peace out, yo, King, man. Yo, thank you for coming through, my boy. Always make the stream more fun. Always see your comments in this bitch. Thank you for the fucking support, my boy. Yo, that's my that's my motherfucking dude, man. My boy, my boy, King Tim a B, man. Those fucking. It means you dying. I don't want anything to do with Falcon. If it, if you make me try, I'll just use it to chop up more out. <laughs> Yo, man. Someone had a really good comment here. A comment that I fully agree with. Some If Lon Ku dies, I'm going to cry. Man, if Lon Ku dies in this playthrough, if, if Lon Ku literally gets killed in the next game, or something like that, I don't know if I'll be able to continue this. I won't be able to continue this. Not if Lon Ku dies. Hell fucking no. This is pointless, I'm leaving. Damn, Kajel. Damn, girl. She sure is stuck in this whole Apple business. Lucina! Lucina, stop being so silly! Lucina's so silly, man, but, um... Damn. That was really deep. It seems like every now and then we get a peek at, you know, the reality of the situation that everyone's in and the, the horror that they faced in the past. A lot of times, though, it can be really lighthearted, but it really depends on who's talking. Um, it's funny because the first support conversation with Kajel and Lucina was really lighthearted, funny, and sort of involved the whole family with Krom being there as well, too. It was really nice on the heart, especially considering they're in some fucked up times. But... The B rank conversation was on a whole different level. But it still had the funny undertones, I guess, with the whole Apple business. Um, 
Miglor Guar with a $5 donation saying this playthrough is hype as hell. Keep on trucking. What fucking emote is this? I can't even see it. But um, thank you. Thank you very much, man. I definitely will do so. It's time to do some more. Oh, no. It's all done. Well, guys, finally, we are ready for the next mission. Let's not waste any time. Let's save the game once more. We'll do that power log eventually. And let's begin the next chapter, man. What the fuck is going to happen? The sibling blades. So are we talking the Falcons? Let me turn my fan on. No. <laughs> okay, here we go. The word is saying, Etika, if you the wire, if you choose the wireless options in the menu, in the bonus box you can summon bonus teams who you can buy items from or fight to gain experience. Yeah, I saw. Um, I was actually using those a lot to buy like cool items and rare items. Um, I just, I just don't know. I, I just don't know how I'll be able to get that much money together. They ha I have, although I do have the DLC mission, so I guess I could do that. But I want to stay away from using that. But there's so many items that are important for me to have, like upgrades to certain weapons as well, too, that are all expensive. And I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I, I just don't want to whore out like that. But we'll see. We'll see. But okay. So, just as I thought, the turn cloaks only made a show of opposing us. We're clear of them. But if Yen Fei's force, but Yen Fei's forces approach swiftly. It won't be long now. Right. We should hasten south to meet them and distance ourselves from Walhart. This battle will be challenging enough without the conquering breathe the conqueror breathing down our backs. Right. Another concern: the dynasty who betrayed us. They attacked us and let us go both because it suited their purpose. Should they attack us from behind as we battle Yen Fei, it would be an easy victory. They would curry favor with the Empire without risk of injury, and that's how they think. Right. We can't defend two fronts. We'll need to choose our battlefield carefully. Seiri, that mountain. I've seen it smoke for hours, but I see no trees on it anywhere. Crom, that's not a fucking mountain. It's a volcano, my boy. That is no forest fire, sir. It's a volcano. Have you never seen one? Oh, probably not. He's probably never seen one. This one is called the Demon's Ingle. It is known and feared by all people of Valm. Few dare even get close, lest they anger the wicked fire god. Really? Robin, are you thinking what I'm thinking, my boy? I see. Yo, man, here we go, man. When these boys start talking, yo, when, the, when them words start coming out, man, then the mind starts sinking, you can fight them for free, which means you don't need to spend money to grind, so it's better than reeking boxes. The street pass teams, right? I think I'll utilize that more often then. Only if you're a watcher, only if you're wondering how quickly we can reach the volcano. Fight. Go to the demon's ingle. Wait, okay, so what's the plan here? We're gonna fight them at the volcano and potentially use the fear of the fire god to intimidate the forces and get the advantage? Alright. I'm saying your opportunistic former friends won't dare risk following us. Then we can use the flames as barriers to limit how your brother's army approaches. Hmm. And my brother will still come. His stubborn pride will force his hand. Right. And it seems we have our strategy. So be it. It's a risky plan, but I can devise none better. And you two seem to have a peculiar talent for performing miracles. Sairi! Girl, you need to understand what the situation is and who you're looking at. That's the fucking dream team. We all know this, Sairi. You're the one that's lacking right now, girl. She gotta get informed. You know why she doesn't know? Because we haven't paired her up with Robin yet, man. There's still a lot you need to learn about my boys. Crom and Robin, man. So they're going to use the volcano to attempt to break up Yen Fei's forces. What the fuck is this? Lava. Link Master's in here too, bro. What's going on, Link? Glad to see your ass in here. And you couldn't have come at a more perfect time, dude. Because we're about to get fucking destroyed in a goddamn bo Look at how many niggas there are! Oh my fu- oh, oh my fucking god. Holy shit, my boy. Oh!
Like, I can already tell. After this playthrough, I'm gonna have some gray hairs, man. I think I already have a couple of gray hairs thanks to this fucking playthrough. We dead, though. That, that's it, man. What the fuck, dude? So we have paladins now that we're fighting against. How do we win this? Defeat the commander, so... Sound Maniac saying, the floor slowly turns into lava. Watch out. Oh my god. Where the fuck is the commander? It's Yen Fei! Holy shit! It's her brother! Actually, not Street Pass teams. Bonus teams. They are the teams of generic enemies led by characters from previous Fire Emblem games. Also, have Seiri fight her brother here. She gets unique dialogue. Amatsu. Mirmidum class only. Yenfei's blade. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Silver saying, I know this level looks intimidating, but I actually found it pretty easy. As long as you stay in two or three groups and navigate well, you'll be fine. You'll find your long range guys most useful here. Well, thank you for that tip, Silver. We are definitely going to utilize that. There are so many fucking niggas here. The lava battlefield looks cool. Holy shit, look at all those niggas. Yo, that, that's the fucking recruit opportunity? There's a recruit opportunity? There's a recruit opportunity? Where? Miss donation? Oh, no, I didn't miss one. Oh, giant fire nigga. Oh, thank you, man. But, um, where the fuck? Okay, so we have this warrior. Etika, be careful on the stage. Every turn, a part of the map becomes lava and will hurt your team, but it can also hurt the enemy. Is there any way for us to influence where the lava will strike? Or where it will turn the floor to lava? Fuck me! Fuck me! Okay, so anyways. We got Paladin, Silver Sword, regular. Sense is saying, standing on the lava deals damage, I think. Pair Maribel with Robin, please. The supports are the best, hand down. Yo, yo, we'll see. I don't know if I want to fucking... I don't know if I want to fucking put Maribel with Robin, though. I don't like that combination too much. I mean... She's not the kind of girl that I think I would want Robin with. Armor Slayer, so we have to be aware of this. This dude can fuck up an armor unit really good. Link Master says, to add to your frustration, some of the ground starts to sink into the lava every turn, and whoever's standing on top of the lava will take damage at the start of every turn. So be careful not to stand on them. Of course, you have to throw a random fucking thing like that into this match, right? This dude has baloney and arc fire. Silver axe, silver sword. <clears throat> A Griffin Rider. Don't forget to check for counter and be thorough this time. Check all the warriors. Yeah, I will. Definitely. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on, man? This is gonna be a bitch. This is gonna be a fucking ball buster, man. I can already tell. Silver Lance. Okay, let me see here. Let's get in. What the fuck is this? Outdoor fighter. We're, we're not outdoors, nigga. We're far from it. And this dude, he has that skill where he attacks if his health is lower than um, a certain point. So that's going to be fucking fun. Watch out for Astra. Shit. One of these guys has Astra. This dude has baloney. Rally magic. Okay. Okay, so, for the most part, wait a minute, how the fuck are you using a bow? You're a warrior? We have to keep, we have to be aware of that. We, before we do anything, we have to make sure that the enemies that have special weapons or some kind of special attributes, we keep track of them. The way we win this war is if we kill this guy, but he's so deep in, there's no way in hell that we're going to be able to kill him by sending somebody in to cut in. Yenfei will fucking end Seiri, don't do it. Yeah, I know. That's not going to be able to happen this time around. But, um, alright. Let's choose our units. We gotta just choose the best of the best that we got. So, Robin, you're definitely fucking coming, dude. Um, who else? Range units are being, will be important here. And, uh, we need our defense. So, we're definitely going to use Kajel and, uh, my boy Callum. These Griffin units, do they have, like, a any magic? 
Linkmaster says also the treasure chest can be destroyed from the lava, so you better get those chests as soon as you can. The lava starts to sink from both ends, so the ground sinks on the bottom of the map first, and then the top, and so on and so on. Wait a minute. The lava starts to sink from both ends, so the ground sinks on the bottom of the map first, and then the top. Okay. Fuck. So we're going to have to fucking blast our way through here. This, um... Do those griffin units have, like, a... Let's turn this on first. Of course, of course. Let's see, can these guys fly? They can't fly over lava, can they? They can't fly over lava at all. So we could potentially bulwark the shit out of this. If we send one really strong defensive unit here, then we could have somebody to lead the way and to take hits while pushing in. That seems good to me. So that's why they also said that we need our range units, because if we do have our bastion units here to block the way while our range push in, that we could potentially rain hell on niggas with magic while they can't break through the impenetrable defense. So it makes sense to me. I like the idea. I like the fucking idea. It's about to go down, you. Know? Okay. They can fly over lava. They can. But I didn't see they they don't have movement over it. Look, they don't they, they don't fly over it. See, look. Yeah, look, see they don't. They can't fly over lava. They will bypass your units. Oh, really? The sword masters will have high speed. Nightmare Knight saying, um, first donation etiquette with a seven dollar and twenty cents donation. Thank you very much. Love watching you play Fire Emblem. Practically renewed me twice from my burnout. Logged well, hundreds of hours. Holy shit! Remember to also place the skill you want the kids to inherit at the bottom. Lastly, cream pie vote for. Can't really go wrong. Yeah, I know. Everyone seems like they have benefits. Josh saying, I just got back from CJ's. How many cream pies while I was gone? None yet. Also, could you give a shout out to my top nigga? I, 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 bra, I'm, I, B, Z. Yo, what's going on, man? Joshua, it's cool to see your ass in here too, dude. I apologize if I've seemed like I'm really focused on this, but I'm not trying to have niggas die. Someone says they can fly over the lava, but they can't attack while they are on lava. Oh, oh, oh! I see now. That's why he has movement into here. Because this nigga can fly here. I get you. I get you. Okay. Makes sense now. Makes perfect sense now. This is gonna be really complex, but um, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. We're gonna have to pair niggas up, that's for sure. Any magic on this bitch? Silver axe, silver axe. Silver axe. <coughs> okay, pairing up our... Pairing up our healers with the bigger units is gonna have to be the way we do this, so let's let's keep going. We also have um Sully, yes, definitely. Church, okay. Okay. God, I really hope. Are there any archers in here? There's magic users, but there's no archers, so we're sort of okay. We have to be aware. We really have to be super aware. Um, let me see. Henry, yeah, we're gonna bring you, dude. Anna, definitely. Her eleven sword only has one use left. Holy shit! We're gonna have to give her one. In fact, let me let me refill everybody's shit. It's time to fight for the waifus by Omni Blade. I love watching you play this. Thank you so much, man. I really wish I could do this stuff. I'll help you out when my memory works. Thank you, man. Because I, I, I'm i going to need that shit. I'm going to need that shit. There are two warriors with bows. Yeah, I saw. Okay, so we're going to be aware of that, too. Is this a place we really want to bring my girl, Church? Do we really want to bring you, girl? Do we really want to bring you, girl? I don't think so. I really don't think so. But um, I'm going to do it anyways. Woo! Okay. It's getting serious now. Donnie! Lukina! Alyssa, come along. Sayuri, you're gonna get fucked up the ass if you try to fight this game, but I'm. Virion! And, uh, Naoi, maybe? Yeah, Naoi. There we go, we got our unit. So now, what is our approach gonna be? I really wanna... 
I don't really I really don't know. Let's move Lissa over here with um with Kellum. Damn man, this is gonna be fucking tense. Yeah, Robin will be in the front here. Um, this dude has a silver sword, a silver axe, silver lance, silver sword, baloney, baloney, fucking baloney. Okay, we should be okay for the first turn here. And um, who will be with Kellum on this side? I really don't know. Oh man, the one I'm worried about the most here is definitely fucking Cherich here. Replace Virion for Lon Ku. I want to. Maybe that'll be a good move. Maybe it would be a good move. Place Virion for Long Ku. Silver says not gonna bring Long Ku. He's one of my MVPs for this one, but I understand preserving him. Losing the goon would be a disaster. You know what? But Virion's much better with the bow than Long Ku right now. We need long range more. Don't bring Henry. Why aren't you bringing Sayri? Cause Sayri would get fucked up. That's why. Maybe we should bring her anyways though. It's just too risky, man. If I bring Sayri, she could potentially get fucked. But I do want to see what she says. Don't you dare try to... I just can't. The flying units can't fly over lava, they just can't stop on the top of flowing lava. I've just been ninja. Don't worry too much though. Just use the fields to your advantage. Remember, some of the enemies don't move until you enter their attack range. Yeah. That's gonna be kinda hard to put a finger on. Rank listen, my boy. Right, at this point now, I'm not even gonna worry about ranking anybody. I'm just trying to play as effective as possible. Because with a game like this, with lava doing extra damage. Press on south quickly to avoid the lava. Cheers from Sweden. Thank you, Dino. Okay, so all these tips are helping me out here. I'm going to keep that danger zone thing on for the entirety of the battle. First thing we're going to have to do here is kill this bitch and then come through. So on this side, we need somebody to kill that fucker. The word is saying, remember to pair people for supports. Like put church with Kellen. Um, I don't know, man. At this point now, the supports are one thing, but if they don't help to actually pull through the game... And um, they're not effective, then I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to really see. We need to kill this guy right away, and then this bitch needs to die. She needs to die right, right then and there. So um, I'm thinking, how do we kill this guy quick? We need somebody with Maho to do the job. So we need somebody, maybe Henry. Henry's magic. These two together, they should be able to rain hell on that nigga. They should be able to. And then Donnie comes through. With fucking Kajel, and they do work. That sounds good. And then kill him, kill him over here. As long as we take care of the mages, we're good. This one's a tough situation too, because yeah, we're gonna need to move you up, Crom. No, no, you know what, Crom, replace you with Lucina. We can't fucking replace Crom with anyone. Okay. That that sage needs to go, yo. That sage needs to fucking die. The word in the saying is also putting them together like this will help, as these already have supports with each other, which means higher bonuses, and the ones I suggested will actually help you out a ton. Yeah, I, I figure as much. I figure as much. They, they will help if I keep them paired up with the way I want them to be. It's just... Right now, that would mean I would have to me put, put stronger units together. Like, right now, that would mean I would have to put fucking Lucina and Robin together, potentially, or Kellum and and church where, where they need to be apart right now because their efforts split up would be really appreciated rather than fucking together so we can get more use out of them all right the plan was basically to kill the sage here but i don't know will that really be able to go down maybe we should put lissa and and Robin to go. So his magic is just OP as hell. And he can just destroy niggas right away. Then again, no, no, no. I want to keep it with Anna. Alright, guys. You know what? 
Whose genius was it to fight in a pit of lava? Fucking Robin! Robin's a fucking genius, yo. He's the one that decided this, man. I don't know what the hell this boy was thinking. Give me a second. I don't know what the hell this boy was thinking. Okay, so at least on this side, we can pair together these magic units with our stronger, more bulky units. So they can take out those griffins, because those griffins are going to come at us real quick, right? So if they're going to come at us real quick, then we can prepare ourselves for them. This sage wouldn't really be able to fuck us up per se, right? So yeah. We're going to wait for those griffins to attack, and then we're going to move forward. Sounds like a good enough plan to me. Guys, we are pretty much ready to start the fucking show. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, guys. Save the game one more time. This one, there's no reinforcements, right? And if there are none, then that means... Um, Toaster Waffles, thank you so much. I got banned for three months ago. Unban me, my boy. Toaster Waffles 101, can somebody, a mod, unban him, please? Thank you. Um... We're just gonna start it up. We're gonna wait for those griffins to come to us first, and then we're gonna hit them hard. Let's do it. The Omni Blade. I don't know if anyone told you this, but keep mind of the terrain. Certain tiles will change and deal 10 damage at the end of the turn, potentially killing. Yanfei will stand on this tile and get to 1 HP. Use that info how you want. Okay, so Yenfei is going to let himself die? Why, General? Such a mel uh, melancholic air about you today. Whatever is the problem? Excellus, this chick... This chick is bad news. Oh, is today the day you face off against your beloved sister? Dear me, of course it is. Well then, of course you'd be in a foul mood. I no longer have a sister. She is a rebel. Damn! He says... She is a rebel and a traitor. You heard the voice? He said, I, I no longer have a sister. This shit is serious, yo. Really? Oh, good. Very good. Right out of the book, General Yenfei. And I commend your acting ability. Very, con very convincing. I think your men will all hurt you. In any case, I'm so glad that I can trust you not to take it easy on her ragtag little trope. <laughs> yes, we both know why you'd never let any of her comrades escape, don't we? Oh, and I think it must be so difficult, General. But think of it this way. You still have a family, a big one. The whole Imperial Army is your family now. Well, I should run. Do tell your little sister I say hello. Ta-ta. Damn, nigga. What in the fuck did she threaten him with to be able to make him turn coat like this? 